a new version of Foundry is out and that is awesome. But what do you do? Do you update right away or hold off? Well, I think that comes down to four factors that you should be considering. And let's talk about those. V10 is the most recent update as of this video. It came out about a month ago, and uh, this one's not exactly a timely video, but the logic applies regardless of what update is coming. So it'll be still relevant when V11 or 12 or 32 comes out. Factor number one, how new are you to Foundry? If you're a brand new user, I would argue that the only thing that really matters is that the system you want to play is updated to the new version. And when I say system, I really mean game system. As long as the game system that you want to play is updated to the new version and you're a new player who isn't super attached to some old modules that you've been running for a while, then why not? If you want to play an old system that hasn't been updated, you certainly don't want to play uh, in a program that doesn't support the game you want to play, obviously. But really the only drawback here is not having quite as many modules to choose from. And if you're a new player, you're not really attached to any of the modules yet anyway because you haven't tried them all out. And in my opinion, playing fewer modules is usually a good thing. I think people overdo it with modules. And there are tons of folks out there who will disagree with me, but I do believe that starting with the base version of Foundry and learning how that works before you try to overlay a bunch of extra stuff on top can be really valuable. So if you're a brand new user, the only thing you really need to check is if your game will play in the new version. And as long as that's good to go, download the most recent update. The other factors we're going to talk about are for those of us who are a little more experienced with Foundry, who have been in the game a little longer and we've grown attached to some of the modules that we've come accustomed to using. If that's your situation, like it was for me, there's a little bit more that you have to consider before you make that jump. Perhaps the most important is whether or not the modules that you care about the most are updated to the new version. With each update, we get this sweet little spreadsheet that has all the different modules and things listed. Now, it might not have all of them, all of them, because there are tons of modules that are developed independently and not released publicly, but like pretty much anything that you can find uh, on the Foundry website is going to be on there. But once you have access to this list and you can really dig into it, you want to go through the modules that you're using and figure out which of them have been updated. And of those that haven't been updated, which of them can you live without? If there's a module that you've been using or that you love so much, uh, that you can't let it go and it hasn't been updated yet, then you're going to want to hang on to the old version until the developer that runs that module catches up with the new release. Just keep in mind that a lot of these developers are doing it for free without getting paid very much, if at all, uh, for their work. So give them grace, uh, give them the time to catch up. They're in it for the love of the game. So just be patient. Now, I will also say that to further support my statement earlier that people overdo it with modules, um, this process is a lot easier if you're depending on 40 modules um, than if you are trying to work with like 150, which I've seen. The fewer modules you grow dependent on, uh, the more likely it is that this process will be super simple because you just don't have as many that you have to worry about when you have updates. The next factor we want to consider is how your players are going to feel about the changes. Yes, I know technically this is the old tried and true advice, just talk to your players. It's been said a million times and um, it's probably been said a million times because it's true. Even though you could argue that DMs invest far more time and money and bits of their soul in their games, uh, players' opinions are vitally important. Uh, we can't have the fun that we have as DMs if we don't have players to enjoy the setting that we put in front of them and the plot that we have unfold. So yes, it's been said a million times before, but check with your players. Some of them may be very hardcore Foundry fans and have very strong opinions about which modules you can let go and which modules you have to wait for uh, for the update because they can't do without. On the other end of the spectrum, you're going to have plenty of players who could care less what VTT you use. They just want to be there for the game night. And if your Foundry setup looks different the next time they go in and play, um, as long as it's not too big of a struggle to learn new features, they're just not going to care as long as they get to sit around and play D&D with you or Savage Worlds or Pathfinder or whatever. The last factor that I would make sure to include in your decision-making process here is where are you in your campaign? 
if you're in between campaigns or you're just running a bunch of one shots, then go ahead and upgrade. Why not? You're not playing regularly anyway, so now's a perfect time to upgrade and test out the new uh, features and get used to the new layout or, or whatever. You'll have plenty of time to learn with no real consequences. On the other hand, if you have a long-running campaign that you have uh, built up lots of resources in Foundry for and your players are accustomed to playing with the set of modules that you've been using on a regular basis for a year or however long it's been, then there's an argument to be made for just staying the course with the resources that you already have and not risk things breaking just so that your last few sessions can be using the new software. You've already been having an awesome time for however long it's been. So why not just keep having that awesome time and update when it's a little more stable or uh, when you come to a good stopping place and maybe you're taking a break for a month or so to because uh, you got players going on vacation or you wait till the end of the campaign altogether and just update for your next campaign when it starts. Yes, I recognize that it can be really tough to avoid playing with the shiny new features that come with every new update especially the lighting effects. Those are typically my favorites to play around with. But if your campaign only has a handful of sessions left, it's probably better to curb your enthusiasm and just stay the course. But what do you think? Are there factors that I haven't mentioned here that play into your decision making when it comes to new updates? Feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you're interested in lots of Foundry content on YouTube, uh, check out my playlist over there. Um, some of those old module videos are getting a little outdated, but there's still plenty of good in those older videos. So check them out and we'll see you soon.